Good evening everybody. By now you should be able to see my screen. Welcome. It is 6 p.m. and it's a Monday so we have the How Clinic. We do indeed. Now I have prepared something. We'll see what you think of it afterwards. There's a couple of topics really in the night but the main one is pivots and that's what we're going to be looking at after I've given you a little bit of a speech. So, Ben, hello, Ludwig, hello to you, Damon, hello, welcome, everybody. Here we go, my little speech. One of the major downfalls in a trader, in a person generally, can be in failing to accept the facts. Now, that's aimed at my stalker as well. The particular fact on the charts, anyway, I'm talking about here is that there might not be any trades available in your session. Worse yet, there might not be any in the direction you want to believe in. Now, you and I, you, you group, the, you guys who are watching my sessions, and I, we've seen that a few times, haven't we? Last week, particularly, I was looking for a long and we got a short. I left it alone and it dropped 100 pips. Later in that same session, we got two rises, 40 pips a pop, 80 pips. For me, that was worth waiting for because it shows discipline. But it is a possibility. It is what it is. You might not get trades in the direction that you want to believe in. We can reduce the possibility, the mathematical and statistical probability, by operating to a process. We can spend some time simply observing the charts during the hours that we have written as a trading session in our daily trading plan. Ideally, our very personal daily trading plan. Once we see that there is indeed often and regular movement in this chosen time period, we can take the next step and spend some time trading it demo. X amount of time, really, since we're all different. But I suggest a minimum of one month on each step. And I also suggest it's not carried out during major summer holiday periods. After those two simple steps, that is the one month observing, you can backtest the observing or scroll back, and one month demo trading. Those are two separate steps we could move to adding some small balance to a live trading account and test some more. And we will then know how we feel psychologically. Something else we need or really might want to look at here today with some chart art are pivots. Now, some of you do and some of you don't know that I'm going to do pivots this evening in my own, hopefully, what's the word, inimitable way. There are certainly some of you that don't know or don't follow exactly what is meant, perhaps in my language, by or about pivots. So I'm going to use the bouncing ball idea to get the message across. As you can see, the chart we're looking at is gold. And it is on the top two screens here. We've got the daily and the four hourly. This is our traditional long range forecasting tool. Down the bottom, we've got a one hour and a 15 minute. Now, that's going to be very helpful for us in regards pivots. I will explain why in a moment. But for those of you who subscribe to and use Think Trader, you might have seen a flashed up news item on your your what's it called your telephones and it was is it time to buy gold? A message from Think Traders Signal Center suggests buying at 2332.2 with an SL at 2313. That's quite big. It's very big. 
uh, for, for my, but that's me. And a TP at 23.85, which isn't enough because we can see R4 up there on the daily at 24. But 23.85 is R3. So that's the idea. It says all trading involves risk. And obviously it came from the Think Trader charting package. It is not, I repeat, it is not my idea nor my recommendation. I am not a gold trader. I have no interest in it whatsoever but it would be a miss of me to not share it and it is why we're looking at gold for pivots now I'm going to use the bouncing ball idea here we go bounce a ball any type of ball but make sure it's the same ball for all experiments on concrete it's a pretty pure bounce is it not it hits the ground comes straight back up to your hands no problem assuming you can count count catch bounce the ball on water it will bounce yes but not the same way it's sort of more of a wobble than a bounce isn't it um you you can you you can press the ball down under the surface and release it release it and you will see it force its way with some venom up and away from the surface bounce the same ball on soft sand and you're going to need to scoop or flick it up with your toe to get the ball off the sand. That's kind of like a dead cat bounce, really. All of those, anyway, remember, re resemble pivots in some way, shape, or form. Now, one of you messaged me with a, with a video. Is this a pivot? Is that a pivot? And, and let's look at them, because it was a, a deep pivot. It straddled the line. Still a pivot. So we're going to look. That's like when you press the ball beneath the surface and it springs back up with some venom. We'll have a look at those right now. There's a bit of a, a dead cat. It's hit the line. It's come off, but it's given an inside bar. It's gone nowhere. We were waiting for some news. Wasn't there a speaker at 6 p.m.? There was. The SNB chairman Thomas Jordan speaks. 1745, in fact. And uh, it's come up here as orange flag news, notwithstanding what he thinks it is. For me, any speaker means red flag news. So we'll have a look at pivots anyway. There on the red line is it's kind of like the concrete pivot. It hit the line. It's come straight off it. And you might think it hasn't gone far. It, it probably hasn't in terms of gold. I'm not a gold trader to know. Here's one of those dead cat bounces where we get caught between purple and pink and those range traders amongst us would be buy it sell it buy it sell it buy it sell it buy it sell it buy it and you'd got caught out on the last one except you see the white line the yellow line going through the white line and you might take the rally up anyone who follows my patterns potential here for a teacup we've got the the base uh, the, the you know the, the bowl shape the handle is currently in formation and what we need to see is this yellow line pivots off white we need to see this inside bar break back up above um, the 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 white line but perhaps it needs to pivot again off pink first we see a potential miniature W here with another one of those deep pivots it is a pivot it's gone below the line but it's a deep pivot it's gone below the line like you would push a ball beneath the surface of the water and sprung back up here a very clean pivot right off the concrete tweezer bottoms and it's bounced right back up to the other emas i'm going to have a look at nas why NAS? Well, because I'm more familiar with it. I prefer it. It's something that uh, really floats my boat, uh, if you like, of late. And we can see that the four hour has got a flag pattern, but the 15 minutes got some hell of a spring in this step, haven't we? Here, a deep pivot, a deep pivot. It's that ball being pressed beneath the surface of the water. Here we've got a pivot and it's a deep pivot off the top of the line. We need to look at divergence alongside to see do we agree that this is as far as we're going for now? Is the, is the pullback imminent? Have we got to drop back to 18,000 or beyond? Well, we need to keep an eye on this PSR for that process too, don't we? But here 
we can see we've got a double bottom and that's a pivot because this was the first test of this level that's the second test of this exact same level it's a double bottom to be is a thing to be or not to be the divergence here the higher highs the lower highs at the open I believe that was at or about the open yeah there you go 230 and we drop off it's not that big look we've got 18 250 at the top oh, we got 18 170 at the bottom in terms of NAS Dow etc it's not that big it hasn't yet gone 100 pips we may have found the floor these are still pivots there is still well, there are still signs of divergence we might yet pivot off the pink line here we zoom it in I'm going to zoom it in the 15 minute one here I'm going to make him a tighter time frame I don't need that clicked on the wrong bit we go down here and drop it down to a five or a three minute five will do let's see what we got there pivot off of the bronze line so far it's pivoting now it's breached okay so what we do is we zoom and we look where's it going we all know that's where it's going next as a potential pivot so anyone who is selling that maroon line is your next target and now that we've come through a line we need to observe that we don't get back up through the line let's drop it down to a one and see what's in the way not in the way they're all ranges i don't know what here and we've dropped up rather nicely since 1800 but I mean look at this this is massively or seemingly very oversold so we're going to have some support around the 60 level as we do so the 60 and the 40 even if there isn't anything there it's a thing it's a place where price pivots and there you go on the three minute it's our 987 that's a pivot it's a deep pivot yes it's gone right through we've pressed the ball below the surface of the water and now we need to see if there is enough divergence in it to push it up and back above the line and give us something resembling a long signal there before it was a perfect rejection of the 987 went up a bit closed and then dropped through here per, um, not perfect but a x a b c w pattern around the 610 our bronze line so observing patterns with a double bottom and divergence and a clear rejection of this 987 ema here this represents a pivot because we haven't quite touched the line it's still a pivot we didn't reach the line we went what's the word the, 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 the down move didn't have enough force to go all the way and then failing to get above failing to stay below tweezer bottoms a break back above you know you're going long those all represent pivots be it very very clean like these tipping the line and moving away or breaking through the line and straddling it and coming back above that still represents a pivot didn't go through the line so we get a second bite of the same pivot it's still a pivot it's absolutely a pivot I'm going to put it back to a 15 minute there now because that's the the, the chart I want and oh look it's a perfect rejection of our red line it's a pivot it's a pivot it's trying to pivot off of r4 it's attempting to pivot without flicking the piece r there on the four hour a pivot is a pivot even if it breaks below the line how does the bar close it closes above that's a pivot it's pressing the ball beneath the water I wanted to see one of those sort of dead cat bounce looking things that resemble bouncing a ball on sand and I can see one from the upside here where the ball hits the sand and doesn't go anywhere doesn't break back below the pink line so it hasn't gone anywhere so this would be a bounce up if sand could be you know if gravity was switched on its head for a moment and we threw a ball up at the sand it's gone nowhere we do sometimes see that to the downside as well here for instance we hit the sand it goes nowhere four this is a one hour chart four um it closes on the line one two three it takes four hours to break away from the line and even then it doesn't break far but it's broken and closed above with the bullish engulfing so you know it's going that's how we use pivots and yes even it goes below a line still a pivot this one here doesn't quite touch the line 
it's a pivot it rejected the line absolutely remember some of the lesser what's the word i'm going to use it yeah lesser able-bodied or able-minded traders out there don't use our levels they use random round numbers we like to use fibonacci levels because they tell us when a pullback is imminent and they tell us why the pullback is imminent and we wonder is that enough we didn't break into the sell channel are you it are you enough and we have to look at the tighter time frames to know what held us up back then it was probably the pink or the purple line that's the deal that's what pivots look like and remember the major downfall in a trader can be in failing to accept the facts the facts that we see upon the chart that is something that we should all take away from this lesson today there are facts and we know what they are ideally we do anyway does anybody have any questions any at all don't be shy fire away hi james hi do you um would you be able to please point out um what like the macd and the tsi look like or even just the macd for this when we're in range and people should just stay out and wait for divergence and Absolutely. all the other indicators sign up thank you okay will i do it on a tight time frame one that from, we're familiar with or would that yes, be better please. okay there you go well i'll make him a one minute and i will make him a single screen like that so we can see and i'm gonna check he's not too there he is he isn't too squished up range here you see the macd is and this is a standard macd it is not a fast macd it's a standard macd but range on the macd there's two ways of seeing it one is it won't agree with the upper part of the chart two is this will be red that'll be green i've, I've said two and there's really three so that's uh, that's green and that's red the other way is very often we'll find you see there the way it's trickling along zero there it's trickling along zero that's range anytime you see the line red with green or green with red it's range you can also see some divergence within the indicator there the, the higher lows the lower lows on the indicator doesn't mean it's necessarily going to go but you can see <coughs> excuse me we do reject a big round number and a 987 and it does move so it's a brilliant question and it would be good for the members to, to see and observe how the combination of seeing the divergence within the indicator at the same point as seeing some range you can also see the rejection of a line and then this becomes an early if you like pivot remember i said on that other chart where you could buy it at that line and sell it at that line uh, but yeah there you go paul has got it there trickling around zero is mega range if i do this and i add our tsi T S I where are you T S I uh, T R U It's him, isn't it? Yes, it's him. There you go. Add him. I'll add him. He has all got my defaults on it. You can see there we're not going very far away from the zero. We're red and above the line. We're green and below the line. Green and above, yeah, that's good. And that was that pivot that we looked at with the 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 uh, what you call it. The, the the hopper there and a the hopper here that's not so bad but the minute it goes red we're range and we're trickling along the line red below the line is good except the angle of the mid bb or the 21 if you're using it ladies and gentlemen the angle of that and note how all of the emas are wrapped together for those who really struggle with it i do suggest you use the range find the bollinger bands which means we've got this dark blue line uh, in uh, outside of the white line and then our light blue line and if you're stuck between this dark blue line and that dark blue line then you're really you're in range once you get into the buy channel it's this dark blue and this light blue once you're in the sell channel it's this dark blue and this uh, light blue and there you can see yeah a hop out like that you've got reason to sell coming back into the bands you've probably got all you're going to get but uh, there you go look at that it's the most common issue seen with student reviews i genu generally and genuinely believe janelle and everybody that students see the range 
and I'm sorry for saying it like I, like I see it and I'm going to tell it like it is, students see the range and big fat trade it anyway. Haven't we been in sessions before where I've said, we're doing not on here because this is range, this is what range looks like, we're not trading it, we're sat on our hands doing nothing. And then at the end of the session, someone says, I overtraded and lost. And what can you do for that? I'm not sitting behind him, so I can't smack him on the back of the head. I can't take the back of his head or the hair on the back of his head in my fingers and shove his nose through the screen and say, did you not see what I saw? Did you not listen to what I told you? I'm not allowed to do that anyway, really. But a lot of people, a lot more than you imagine, see it and big fat trade it anyway. That's the reality. A scathing review of their session is the next best thing to slapping. It is indeed. Yes, absolutely, Janelle. So uh, fair play to you on that for doing that and well done. I've zoomed out to see some more. Look, the, we're going nowhere. Spiky wicky bars as well. Ladies and gentlemen, think about it. Uh, wickedy wicks of the south, wickedy wicks of the north. You've got them all around here. Over here, not so much. It eases off. There is an easier place to trade. Here is a much easier place to trade. That sell signal right there. Boom, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. It's a hopper combo deluxe. And the bands are expanding. You see? So there you go. And before it, look, the green and red going nowhere. The EMAs held us up. The red and red, the EMAs don't hold us up anymore, do they? We crash, we crash. Yeah, it tries, fails, because that one holds us down. That one holds us up. That one holds or forces us down. The breakout below it suggests we're all done. And if you went in, came out, go in again or in again, and you've got pips. So from here down to the 60 coming back up, potentially 40 pips right there. There you go. We are 21 minutes. Any more questions? Anybody? I want to get rid of him. If I don't make this the same as it was, I will be confused later. It don't take too much to confuse me. There you go. And we're back to normal. No more questions? If not, I'll end the recording, upload it, and get it out to you guys. Remember, accept the facts. The charts will show you and tell you the facts. Here's perfect. Look at this. On This is still the one minute. We broke above the light blue line. You all know the value. We've struggled on the maroon line, which is also a big round number. We struggled and we've broken through. We're hitting other EMAs and struggling. It's, this is what pivots looks like. You all know how I would react here. Yes, we probably could have taken a sneaky cheeky early entry. We'd be fingered on the button, fingered on the button. It's a wedge pattern in and now you can lock in and hold and you wait and see if it breaks out. Head for a double top. Coming back out below this line and you're all out and done. There you go. Matt snagged 34 pips on the cell. Well done, Matt. Well done indeed. I'm going to put him back to being a 15 minute. I'll say, please trade safe, everybody. And I look forward to, look at that, perfect, perfect pivot with a lower low, a higher low, a lower low, a higher low, divergence within the indicator. How could you not know that was going to happen? You knew that was going to happen. So well done, Ludwig. 27 for you, 34 for Matt. And look at you guys, um, taking pips in the how session. Well done. I made up for you. That's, uh, that is really good. Nice one. Go on then. I'll end the recording. I'll say please trade safe and I look forward to seeing you all on the next live session. Bye-bye.